wear this one because no one would possibly recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Haroldi, you should sell those because I, I think I they, would go, they would go like crazy. I would love wearing that into a Home Depot. I may, I could never remove it, actually. Oh, <laughs> not much difference. No change. But hi, Lisa. <laughs> okay, Geraldo, you don't have a tan line, so that's good. You have a mask tan line. <laughs> and, and, and Michael Loftus, uh, they, they still sing your praises on East 4th Street here in Cleveland. You played Cleveland when uh, no one else was going to East 4th Street. So. Yeah. We, wow. uh, we, appre we appreciate your courage and, uh, you know, your, uh, your, your consideration. I sacrificed a couple of car windows to that town. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least. You get out easy. I, I moved here. <laughs> now, guys, let's go over our cocktails. Michael was already bragging about his cocktail. Uh, Geraldo, looks like you're going with the, uh, a good straight up. You're going. Oh, no. What happened? It's all right. It looks like your oh, webcam sorry, is sorry. down. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm just I'm having a sell out. But I'm just, I'm just going to sip at it because I, I have to do Hannity later, and I don't want to. I don't want to slur, slur my words when I'm uh, arguing with Dan Bongino. It could, could, could be interesting, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, you know, you know, thing. Thing. <laughs> what are you drinking, Lisa? Um, just red wine. Red wine? It's, uh, don't say just yeah. red wine. It's a classic. Red wine. You know, it is a yeah. classic, and it is very welcome and it's at, gorgeous. The, at the happy hour. Michael, what's in your drink? When you said it was a, a, a Ben Shapiro drink, I thought it was like making a, a joke that it was non-alcoholic or something like that. But no, I was gonna make I was gonna make a Joe Biden, but yeah. I forgot the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> no, this is a that would be a like a Xanax or something. <laughs> ben Shapiro is uh, cranberry juice, vodka, and liberal tears. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. <laughs> Salty. Very salty. I've got my big, uh, my Death Star ice cube here. That's awesome. Wow. And just, you can see here in front of my Mel Torme, I've got the Knob Creek, Knob Creek whiskey. And uh, I don't know if what's right and what's left. And just to show you, because people have been accusing me of the heavy pour, this is my whiskey right here. So it is only one shot's worth of whiskey. And that's all I get here for the happy hour. Because <laughs> I don't want things to get too happy here. So you're yeah. avoiding any judgment by just putting it out there, yeah. the precise amount. That's right. There's yeah. my, and it looks like I have a lot, but it's because I have a huge ice cube, okay? So yeah, that's yeah, sure. That's yeah, one sure. shot. Sure. You're on. And I put a little shot of ginger beer in there as well. Delicious. Nice. So whiskey and ginger beer. Guys, this is going to be the best happy hour ever, I can tell. You know what we do here <laughs> on the happy hour? We do trivia, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll be going through the, the windows. I'll, I'll start with Geraldo, and then we'll, we'll go from okay. there. We're going to have uh, at least three rounds, at least three Ooh. rounds of questions. And then at the end, we'll name a winner. It doesn't really matter who wins because this is not a fair game in any stretch at all. <laughs> it's, it's terribly unfair. But it's all about trivia, uh, mostly pop culture, film, TV references, things like that. No one has an advantage because we span the decades, okay? So, <laughs> you guys ready to start round one of the happy hour? Do it. Yes. I'm ready. Ready. Okay. That's all right, round one is mostly fictional locations in film and TV. We're kind of doing a tie-in here because there's a new show called American Built on Fox Nation, hosted by Steve Ducey, who has been on the, uh, the happy hour in the past. And each of the five episodes tells the story of how the country's most iconic structures came to be. So we kind of, we like to do a little theme here. I don't know how loose or how tight it is, but we're kind of doing a little cross promotion with American Built. So let's start the questioning with Geraldo, all right? Geraldo Rivera. Yes, Tom. Most of us remember, he's smarter than the average bear. He hangs around with his buddy, Boo Boo. Mm -hmm and he loves picnic baskets. We're talking about Yogi Bear. Where do they live? Where do Yogi Bear and Boo Boo live? I have oh. no idea. I mean, I may, if I strain my mind, I don't remember Yogi Mr. Bear. Ranger, I mean, I, I remember, you remember uh, he was in a park, right? Oh, that's right, Yosemite. Yosemite Park, is he right? 
It's Jellystone. Jellystone. Uh, I should have known. I should have known. I don't know how old I was before I realized that Jellystone was not a real park. You know, I remember <laughs> looking at, at the national parks. As it was you, you, found out, you found out yesterday. When yeah, you were it might have been. <laughs> it might have been when we were going over this quiz. <laughs> okay, so Geraldo didn't get the first question. Let's go to Michael Loftus. I hope I strike you all out in round one here. Wow. Michael, okay? Yes. Yes. What famous fictional location in the Marvel universe oh, is the most technical, technologically advanced country on Earth? This is in the, the Marvel universe. Uh, it's the most oh, technically advanced. I'm going to say this. Thanks. I'm going to say this. Uh, but, but I'm going to say it as, as Yogi Bear, as a oh, little scout. Uh, I believe it's Wakanda forever. Wakanda! Wakanda is right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mr. Booth is so nervous right now. I am because I haven't known any of these. <laughs> You're zero for two so far, Lisa. Oh, now, now Michael's getting. Oh, okay. All right, Michael's this, getting this, cocky this now. This is an intimidation tactic. I know it what is. you're doing. It is, <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what what movie we're talking about, Lisa? Wakanda, Wakanda Forever. Do you know the film? Um, Black Panther, right? It's Black Panther, you're right. But that's not the question. Here we go. Lisa <laughs> Booth. In the Wizard Rude. of Oz. In the Wizard of Oz, what yeah. is the fictional capital city oh, of gosh. the fictional land of Oz? What is the capital city? What is the name of the city? I don't even remember. I was so young. I don't want to... Wow. I are your 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 fellow contestants are smiling. Because I think um, they can get it. Where were they yeah. headed? It's at the end of the yellow brick road. What's the name of the city? Probably like a castle or something. It was a castle. What did the castle look like, Lisa? Oh, um, it was very pretty. It was so it was pretty. Very, <laughs> it, it was a lovely place. Had a if lot you were of lovely... to describe the one quality of the of the city, what would you just what would you say? They're like the slippers were ruby slippers, right? They were yellow brick slippers, road, right? The ruby slippers. It wasn't Kansas. It wasn't Kansas. Geraldo, tell her what it is. She got it wrong. Uh, I forget. Geraldo <laughs> forgets too. <laughs> Michael, you know what the city was, do you? Yes, it was Emerald City. Emerald oh, City. Right. I was going to say blue, so I would have been what? wrong anyway. Was was no one else terrified by, by this film as a kid? I remember <laughs> every. Horrible moment of this thing. It was it was bad you enough know, when they. I don't think I'm very good up, at trivia. But those, those flying monkeys, Michael. That's what got me. Yup. Yup. My torture yep. was primarily my older brother, so that was what I feared the most <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> the flying monkeys and their little bellhop uniforms. Like it's one thing to have a flying monkey, but then you start wearing it, making making it wear a hat. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? The way they, uh, the little pillbox hats. Okay, yeah. Geraldo. We're all on air off to a bad start. It's okay. I love this start because usually the first round, everybody gets uh, it right because these questions were deemed are easy. super easy by our producers. <laughs> but here we oh, go. The great. things are getting tougher as we go. Geraldo? Uh, yes. What is the name of the, of the fictional poverty-stricken town where Charlie Bucket lives with his family? When I say Charlie Bucket, do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, it, uh, Char Charlie and, and Lenny, you mean, uh, uh, no, I don't know. Well, okay, I'm going to give you a hint now. This, I just wanted to, I wanted to know if you knew where we were when I said Charlie Bucket. Was this town where Charlie lived with his family and, and his extended family, was it Wonkaville, Candyland, or Swallow Falls? Wonkaville, Candyland, or Swallow Falls? Yes. I, I'll, be, I'll be guessing Candyland. Candyland. Is it Candyland? No. Oh, that was a guess. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I would have said Candyland, to too. Charlie of Charlie and the... If I had said Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it would have been a giveaway, wouldn't it have? Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. No. <laughs> You know, I've seen I Am Geraldo, and I think you were doing more important things when me and Michael were watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> that was a good, good movie, nice tale. 
I mean, I watched it over with five children. I've watched it many times, but I guess I just didn't pay attention to the geography. Well, he, he was very, uh, he, he was a, a businessman who liked to put his name on everything. Like Willy Wonkaville. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, we're going to you. In what popular film franchise did the Peacock family and the Furious Five call Gongman City home? It's Gongman City. Oh. Okay. And you, Michael, it sounds like you know it. I, it was the Furious Five. I'm like the Peacock family, and I went straight to NBC. Then you got me back with the Furious Five. Skadoosh. Kung Fu Panda, baby. Kung Fu Panda. Michael, Man. you're good at this. You're I'm, I'm not going to get any of these. <laughs> <laughs> you're the, you're the comeback it. kid. And Michael, you know what? I'm definitely going to stop drinking the beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. You Michael, just you're crushing it. it. All right. Michael, uh, there was a multiple choice, and you didn't even need it. So you went for the answer. I let you answer it without giving you the, the choices. Lisa, oh, I don't know Lord. if you're going to need the multiple choice on this one. I think the, I'm going to. I didn't know I heard the last two. <laughs> okay, the film Avatar. Avatar. I didn't even see it. At one time, you the didn't highest. Did you see Avatar? No. I don't know if it still is, but. I don't watch a lot of movies. For the most this part. This is clearly not made for me. <laughs> I'm going to give you the multiple choice then, Lisa. Okay. Where please. does the film Avatar take place for the most part? It is the tropical Ice. moon that the, Nav, the Navi call home. Is it Bar. Is it Bargoom, Mongo, or Pandora? Pandora sounds right. It does? Probably, I don't, probably not. I knew that one. Michael Blinketh. <laughs> is it, we also knew that one. Is it A? What did he say? Pandora. Oh, right. Pandora. James Cameron and I are like that. <laughs> you didn't know that one, huh, Geraldo? I knew that one. Okay. My dog is barking, long, I'm sorry. I'm done. As long as I get one right, I can at least walk out of here without being completely embarrassed. So we're doing, doing well. a show here. I do hope. <laughs> I mean, I never wish ill on anyone, but it would be fun if Geraldo got zero on this quiz. I think it would be fantastic. <laughs> oh, no. You everyone needs at least one. one. I knew that. I know. <laughs> I know. That's the thing about the happy hour is everyone is always jealous of each other's questions. So yeah. this time, we are now at, at the part in round one where everyone gets to answer. I think you've been told to keep a, a paper and pen with you. Uh, do you yeah. have your Sharpie with you? Okay. I, I didn't know, but I, I have a check, Sharpie. Check. You didn't know, but you usually prepared, Geraldo, so you got it right there. So I want you to write down your answer to this one, if you would. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm going to bring in a guest to ask this question. Let's bring in a superstar. What? Abby Hornacek. What? Aww. Abby Hornacek has today's happy hour all-star pop quiz question. Take it away, Abby. Thanks so much, Tom. Yeah, I'm usually on the receiving end of these questions, so it feels pretty good to be on the asking end for once. I think I have a good one, too. Here it goes. Halloween Town, St. Patrick's Day Town, Easter Town, and Valentine's Day Town are all holiday worlds that are in, or at least referenced to, in which 1993 Oscar-nominated film? I think it's a good one. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Oscar nominated, and I'll say it was a holiday film, St. Patrick's Day Town, Easter Town, Valentine's Day Town, and Halloween Town. They're all featured in what film? Write it down, guys. Write it down with your pens. And I'm going to take a sip of my whiskey and ginger. Oh, okay. Uh, if anybody needs a hint, let me I know. Need seven hints. I need a hint. I need, I need a hint. I'll take a it's, hint. Okay. It is a Tim Burton film. Tim Burton. Oh, that's a big hint, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? Tim Burton. That's great. The love boat soon will be making another. Are we run. allowed to sing? Are we? Can we do that? Uh, you can. You can. I, I don't. Act, I don't actually know. I, I, I don't know who has the right to that song. I'm probably. I think I'm not supposed to sing, but I, I just. The drink got the best of me. I love that you just broke into song. That's a good. That that gives me the warm fuzzies. Yeah, and me too. Okay, uh, guys. Looks like our time Be is Beetlejuice. Up. 
Hold it up high. <laughs> Hold it up high, everybody. So show me your, your tablets. So interesting. The Nightmare Before Christmas says Michael. And what did you say, Lisa? No clue. No, no clue. clue. And what did you say, Geraldi? You said uh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. The answer is Michael Loftus. Nightmare. Uh, Ooh, uh, Michael, uh, you're crushing it. It's my sure. Carl Rove wipe off board. No matter what yeah. you write on it, it kind I of wonder works. what Michael That's Loftus That's probably why does you're doing so well. <laughs> I know, Michael, I've noticed on the quiz show, in all our guests that we, we've had, uh, comedians do very well with trivia because they're just. They just, I think most of the comedians I know spent their childhood watching television. Yeah, that's a lot of it. And yeah. you only have to work for like 45 minutes a night. <laughs> so you have so true. all day. You have so all true. day to watch. You know the to you oh, I love this episode. What's <laughs> that movie? You you're did. talking smack about everything. You think you're a lawyer, but you're not. Okay, let's bring Michael down to size here. Michael is going to be the first one to do our acted out round. Michael, you were sent in an email, the name of a, a movie or a TV show or some oh. pop cultural reference. I was? It's your job oh. to act it out for us. That's... Okay? I, I think was just have... in an email? It was in an email. And uh, they sent you the name of something. Uh, Lisa, Lisa think... and Geraldo, are you aware of the... Um, I am. I'm, I'm, just, my, I'm just trying to think of how to there. act it out. Oh, no. You don't have to do yours yet, Lisa. Actually, what, since when you When did know you send it? it? No, no, no. I don't want to go first. Why don't we have Lisa go first since she knows it? And, Michael, you look uh, yours up, okay? Oh, okay, I'm going to look okay. mine up. Okay. Who sent it? I'm going to look um, mine up. Probably Okay, Rick. so this okay. is like charades, right? It's like charades. It's like charades. Oh. We can How all much guess. can you talk? How much? What are the rules? Can you talk at oh, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, rats. Is this like charades? Okay. How much can I talk? None. <laughs> so, okay. Like here, three, words. three words. Three words. Okay, so. Uh, video game. Uh, shooting. Uh, Xbox. No, no, I'm not. I'm not done. Okay. Okay, so. First, first word. First word. Uh, I don't know how to do the second word. But third word? Bunny. Mouth. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. No, it's like a... Crown? Yes. Ooh, uh, crown. So think of the first word. Think of a word that I don't know how to act out. And then think of what the third word could be if you're wearing some Three sort of words crown. and a crown. Yeah. The royal crown. And there's a lot of like this in the movie. The bloody too, crown. Or the show. Yeah. Like... Oh, that, things like that. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. A lot of death. A lot of murder. Like a lot of bad Naughty, things. Using crown the makes me the murder. Head. Murder is, crown. Is the third word crown. <laughs> no, the first word is this. Oh, okay. What does that mean? The? It's like it, it, he said it before. What do you? Yeah, like, like, what video, would I be doing this? Oh, video Not, game. But, Shooting. But X, X, the first word. Game of Thrones. Xbox. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Oh, I got it. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Good, Geraldo. You know what? At least I didn't get shut out. You didn't yes, get shut there you out. Geraldo, I'm so glad that you got your point on I'm my I'm going to give a point, guys. This cheers, is cheers to you, my friend. I'm glad yeah, you got it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to give so both Geraldo and Lisa. I'm telling our judges, give a point to Lisa and give a point to Geraldo for that. Just okay? mercy points? Yeah. <laughs> mercy points. <laughs> because really, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to get the point, Lisa. Because oh. you were, oh. you're supposed to get the point, but you're we giving me a mercy point. That, that I was accept. really a Geraldo, uh, a heroic effort by Geraldo. Because I gotta say, are you saying my terrible. acting was that bad? super terrible? <laughs> so <laughs> why is Mel Torme behind? That's you? why I went into politics instead. That's my old acting. <laughs> uh, Mel Torme round midnight uh, album. Ah, I I don't play my albums anymore because I, my stereos put away, but I, I still keep the albums out for display. Oh, and that's, that's nice. the uh, the old part. Did you get that from Adam Schiff? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Here we go, For guys. Christmas. <laughs> round two is the visual visual round. Okay, you have to name the iconic nerd, dork, dweeb, or geek. Oof. Okay, oh. these are famous nerds in film and television. Okay. Okay. So let's start again. We'll, we're back to Geraldo. Geraldo, yes. here's the picture. Who is this? 
Oh, that's the one, the Spanish one. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, America Ferrara. It's America Ferrara in uh, the supermarket oh, America. one. If you know the actress, Geraldo, you get the point. You got I it. I did, okay. <laughs> it's Ugly Betty. Ugly but Betty, right. America That's big in Latin America. I should have gotten that. Okay, now, here we go. Michael. Okay. Michael, name this famous. Uh, oh, oh, my gosh. Um, uh, is it Jack McBriar is the name from 30 Rock? It is, but you're, you're not getting points for the actor the way Geraldo did. You have to <laughs> name Sarah. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember his name. That dude's hilarious. That's that, that guy. Just first name, funny. Michael. First name. I can't remember his first name. Give me a clue. Give me a hint. You were well, you were doing out the hints to Lisa and Geraldo left and right. <laughs> Let's say he's like a he's like a he's a dork, but he's a living doll. He's a living doll. I I cannot remember. Can. Kenneth. Ken oh, that's right. Kenneth. Yeah. He was Kenneth. he's like one of the Kenneth best Park characters Girl. on that show. Yeah. That was a hard clue. But Just I'm going hard on Mike. Apparently not memorable enough because you can't remember his name. Okay, for you, Lisa. Okay. Who is this? Famous nerd. One of the most famous of all. Oh no, I didn't watch that show. What's his name? That's in like um oh crap. What's that uh, Oh my gosh. I didn't watch the show. I know I know the show. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'll even um, let you go if you can name the actor's name or the character's name. Oh. Yeah, right. Um, shoot, what is that show called? I can't even remember the you show right now. You don't even know the show. It's no, over, you know the No, it's I do know. Sheldon. Oh, I do know. No. Sheldon. A lot of people watched it. Sheldon what was that Cooper. show called again? Big Bang. Big, Big Bang. Bang. Big Bang. I never watched it, but a lot of people were fans. Yep. Big Bang. That's Sheldon. And now... It's a it's an Geraldo. Geraldo, this is in the this is definitely in the Geraldo wheelhouse. What's the Oh, Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. That's it. That is it. Okay, Michael. I had Pandora and that one. I'm good in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your genre. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Michael. Genre. Who's this? Sorry with Captain Video. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, is that Screech? Screech! You got it! Whoa, oh, yeah. that's good. Michael, you're a I haven't been doing it. my sound effects. This is your game. This is your game. No, I was completely nervous. I'm like, ugh. I know. You You started, you you knew what you're doing, because you started off when we were talking earlier, and you're like, yeah, I did so bad last time. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're just, like, dunking every time. So, nice to dunking. Bring it up. Let's it's see a strategy. Lisa. Lisa, I'm looking for the gal with the glasses. She's kind of the... The nerdy uh, girl of this troupe, of this mystery gang. Scooby-Doo. I know the show. Do you know the gals in Scooby-Doo? It's not like Daisy for whatever reason. It's not Daisy, is it? Why is, da is Daisy even it's a... It's Daisy. It's not Daisy. Uh, Rads. Geraldo, do you uh, know this one? I don't know her. I know, I know it's Scooby-Doo. Scooby -Doo. I mean, Michael knows, knows who it is. Scooby. Scooby -Doo. Who is it, Michael? Daphne. It's Daphne, not Velma. Daphne. Daphne? Oh, no. Daphne's the other one. This Velma. is Velma. Velma. Who knows Velma, Velma uh, Dinkley? Yeah. Velma is, is like the, Daphne is the ginger and Velma's the Marianne. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's why they're nobody saying, knows that. They're saying now that Velma is gay. Is that a fact? I'm, I'm not making that up. That, that's, that's big in the, in the nerd world. <laughs> <laughs> That is going to be on a future quiz. I, I have to make room in my brain as old as I am for old trivia. That's one of the things I would have like rejected of my brain. <laughs> right? I don't want to know that. More information. Want, yeah. I don't know. yeah, too much. Too much information. Here we go. Back to Geraldo. This okay. is a great character. Something tells me Geraldo saw this one. Um, oh, that's not American uh, Pie, is it? Uh, not American Pie, but his name was written on his ID. Oh. I'm trying to think of this one. Nah, I don't recognize him. He had a fake he, ID. That's right. And the name was, put it up there. Super known. McLovin. Love it. Nah, that's right. That's it. What movie is that? That's not, that's not. Uh, super bad. Super bad. Super bad. I was something. thinking Super Troopers, but it's not Super Troopers, but I knew it was Super something. Here we go. This one is for Michael. Here we go, Michael. Oh, wow. Um, the character. 
Niles Crane. Niles Crane, boom! Wow, that's good. David Niles somebody, Crane. right? Yeah. yeah. Another, but that's another great show. That's that's iconic. That show. A truly great show. A truly yeah. great show. Lisa, I don't know if you uh, are a uh, Simpsons person. You keep getting the animation ones. What is this one? <laughs> oh, my God. Nelson. What? Simpsons. Is it Nelson? It's not Nelson. Huh? You know the, you know, oh, you know Homer. the character, right? I have watched The Simpsons. No, that's not Homer. Do you remember? Oh I'll tell, I'm going to give you a hint. Richard Nixon. Richard <sighs> Nixon's middle name. Milhouse. Oh, <laughs> Geraldo, Geraldo, Geraldo from Mil the Milhouse Van Houten. Milhouse Van Houten. Do I get a half a point for buddy? Yeah. <laughs> and I can't give Geraldo a point. But I'm terrible at this round. It. We're back to Geraldo. Who's this Geraldo? Uh, I was like, that's, mm. I'm like, that's Lisa Booth. Yeah, I, was like, yeah. I, I know this one. Give me this uh, one. <laughs> can I have a hint? Give me well, what I know. <laughs> let's see. Her last name is a planet, and her first name is uh, a, a, one of the one of the ladies from the Archie comics. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I think uh, I know them, actually. Uh, <laughs> first name. Oh, uh, I got this. Uh, it's uh, Archie. Veronica Pluto. Oh, so close. So close. Betty Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different show. Isn't it Veronica <laughs> Planet or there. something? Put it up there, guys. Veronica, Veronica Mars. Mars. <laughs> Whatever. Very close. Very close. Veronica Pluto. I love it. Okay. Michael, here we go. You are good oh. at the outer space ones. So. I am good. <laughs> Jerry Lewis. Oh, I gotta shut up. That is Jerry Lewis, but what is Nutty Professor? It is the Nutty Professor. Can you name Michael the character? Oh my gosh! What the the character beyond the Nutty Professor? Do well, I need his social security number too? What well, is that name? <laughs> professor what? Uh, uh, if, if you're anywhere in the ballpark, I'll give it to you. Oh, professor Ivan Ivan. <laughs> professor Ivan <laughs> It's Professor. This is a tough one. A true tough one. There it is. Put it up there. Professor Julius Kelp. Oh, who can do oh. that? Julius Kelp. We so also now, would have accepted Professor Hi Baby. We are <laughs> we're on to Lisa. This is uh, a more modern version. <clears throat> Who's this character? Hi. Did you see the modern Nutty Professor, Lisa? I did, I think. Oh, you saw it, yeah. So who was the professor? Professor Hi. Oh. Can I do the can I do the my, my professor? <laughs> That's what Michael's doing. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. What did you say, Geraldo? Yeah. What Geraldo, what did you say? Clump. Professor Clump. Geraldo knows a lot. Oh, of, yeah. He knows a lot of other people's. <laughs> so now we're on Geraldo. What's your here? Who is this, Geraldo? I will take either the character name or the actress because this oh. is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but it's not Buffy. Oh, she's on Buffy. I like this actress. That's mm, actor. Uh, yeah. Don't know. I forgot. I don't know. I don't think I ever knew. Do you, you don't know her name, the actress? I don't. That is Allison Hannigan. The character is Willow. Willow Rosenberg. Oh. Yeah. Good. Okay, nice we're name. on to Michael. Michael. That was a tough one. That was oh, a tough. One. That was a tough one. How about this one? This is the. We're looking for the. Bespectable, bespectacled character here on the on the uh, right side of your screen. Harold Ramis's character was named what? I'll take either his first or his last name. Vecman. Hmm. You said that with such confidence, I almost wanted. I'm, to it was just a strong guess. I had to yeah. go with. That's the only name I can remember from that. Was was Vecman. Egon. Egon Spangler. Spangler. These, are, these are hard. They're really hard. Yeah, that's a uh, tough one. Well, you know, yeah. if, to be honest. Uh, if we're doing most famous nerds, we should probably include a picture of Rich Collier, our producer. <laughs> so, okay, and here we go. Let's go back to Lisa. Lisa, who is this? Is that from Ferris Bueller's Day Out? Yeah. It's not. It, I love that you're mangling the names. It's Ferris Bueller's Day Off, not his Day Out. Or day, day, day. 
<laughs> no, this is a different, this is a famous sitcom. Wait, was featuring, he even? Featuring Wait. three, uh, three male characters. One of really? one who's younger and is called a half. <laughs> so do you know the show? Is um is uh what's his face? Uh Charlie uh Charlie Sheen is on the show. Ah, oh, rads. Three and a half what? men, right? Right. Three and a, I think. Two and a half men. It's not three two and a half, half men. <laughs> but uh the, I will take, I'll take either the actor or the character that I just showed you. Which, uh, you know either it's of them. It's unfortunate because I don't know either. You don't know either. And no. it's John Cryer. I got the show right, though. John Cryer. Alan Alan Does that count? That's yeah. right. Okay, guys, we're ready for our second, uh, our second act it out. Michael, do you know yours yet? Yes, and it's horrible, and it cannot be done, but I will try. Okay, you'll try okay. it. Well, with that I attitude, you won't. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Five words. Gone yeah, with the wind. Wow. Go. Gone with the wind. <laughs> okay, so this is Ooh. Fifth Which fifth word. Oh uh, yeah. Uh it, fifth word is sleep. Uh sleep. Good night. <laughs> well, hang on to that. <laughs> sleep. You guys can get can guess too. First word. He, Sleep. First word. Oh, first word is sleep. Rest. Uh, Rest. Huh. Dream. No. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, um, I'm, I'm did we ever get it right? Uncle, I'm going to stay uncle on this one. Because <laughs> you Just had night. Yeah, you had night. And oh. so that was actually the first word. Because night of the Living Dead. Yes. Is, Whoa! Is yes, Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Tom. Dead. Good effort. Well Good effort. That, these are hard ones, though. These are really yeah. hard. Okay, yeah. that's round two, guys. That is you have round to be two. like John Cryer to get these. I know. Round two is over, and that was it. Yeah, that's round two. But round three here. Round three. This ah. is badass women in film and TV. Badass women in film. So it's kind of like the. Hard-hitting female characters. We're back to Geraldo, right? Here we go. Geraldo, uh, in the DC universe, Superman, Batman, Aquaman, and someone named Trevor, uh, Stephen Trevor, have all been romantically involved with whom? Who was the female character that was involved with all of those uh, characters that I mentioned? Is mm. it Catwoman, Harley Quinn, or Wonder Woman? Uh, I say Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman. Oh yeah, Catwoman. I think because she's so, she's so sultry. Catwoman. What do you think? Let's put it up there. Oh, uh, it's Wonder oh, Wonder Wonder Woman's a busy lady. <laughs> I know. I did get around. Know. I did not. I know. think. <laughs> I think all those answers are correct. I think all of those girls. <laughs> you think? Yeah, Michael thinks that. In his fantasies, Michael, I think you you. You could picture yourself with all of those women I mentioned, but. Sure, I'm projecting a little bit. Yeah. Let's go to Michael. Sorry, it didn't work out. <laughs> Michael, what kick ass fictional female character is a warrior who travels through ancient Greece seeking redemption for her past sins with her best friend, Gabrielle? Who are we talking about? You don't get a multiple choice on this one. Hmm. This famous female warrior. Who is it? Is she a princess? Uh, some would say, yes. Xena? Oh. Put it up there. Whoa, yeah! Oh, oh good one. Oh, Michael. Xena. That, sh that, was, that show was a lot of fun. They actually did a musical episode of that. That show gets overlooked. Xena was, was she quite wasn't bad. She was she a, was a wonderful, badass. wonderful actress. Um, Lucy I, Lawless. Lucy Lawless. I Lucy Lawless. Wow. Yes. Uh, when we did Red Eye, I interviewed Lucy uh, one time when she was in town, and it was fantastic to oh, meet her. Cool. Uh, oh, I had okay. her on my old talk show. Was she, was she from New Zealand? Yes. Yes. Right. I don't know where. So, uh, you should have asked so me that. <laughs> is it just Lisa Booth and I that are the only ones that don't have a great Xena warrior princess Frankie story? Yeah, yeah, I have no story. <laughs> I watched her on TV one time. Just <laughs> well, we've got a good question That's all I've here. got. 
He was the well, first Lisa, of the badass women. I I've think. not, I've not yeah. lived, apparently. <laughs> Lisa, in both the 2011 film and the current Netflix series, Hannah, the title character is a young lady who was raised in rural Finland by her father and has trained since the age of two to become a master assassin, of course. Hannah lives her life according to which of the following mottos? What is Hannah's motto? Kill or be killed, adapt or die, or go big or go home? Well, I don't know who Hannah is, but I'm going to go with uh, the first one. Be killed or kill or kill be killed. Kill or be killed. It also yeah. sounds like a quote from General Mattis. but <laughs> it, does, it, does. <laughs> it does. Let's see what it is, Lisa. It is, I'm sorry, adapt or die. Oh, that's yeah. stupid. Kill or be killed is so much better if you're an assassin. It is so that's, true. That's stupid. Yeah, that was a dumb slogan. We threw you. That's why I didn't get it right. It was we dumb. We threw you with the assassin talk, but she has to adapt. That's the whole idea of, of, uh, of Hannah. She's got to adapt. Kill or be killed makes so much better sense. It, it's they also the name. It's also the title of my book of relationships. Yes, that's right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> adapt or die is good for relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Here we is go. That, is that what you've had to, you've had to, uh, you've had to uncover, Tom? And... <laughs> It's really amazing. Marriage. We're back to Geraldo. <laughs> Actually, you know, Geraldo, talk about adapt or die. That's your motto. I mean, you've come through it all. I you have. Like, the, you know, you've been through every era of... of every uh, era. You've seen it. Okay, here we go, Geraldo. What you used to have platform shoes and be six foot three. <laughs> <laughs> what famous female badass are you likely to find battling the T-70, the I-950, the T-800, the Aerostat, and the Harvester. Oh, God. She's female, and she is tough. And I think you might know this because you are a James Cameron fan. Uh, yeah. Um, well, let's see. So she's not on Avatar. She's not on Titanic. Not Titanic, uh, not Rose. It's not Rose, uh, but she was tough, and she really when no, she you uh, said that she came um, back for the sequel, and she really had to. Yeah, bring it. Um, I want to say no. It's not one of the bad people. It's not. No. It's. Do you remember the the Terminator? The way he would say her name. Ah. Uh, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger would say, what's her name, huh? Her, her name it's not Sarah is... Palin. It's a different Sarah. <laughs> uh, uh, Connor. Sarah Connor. Connor! Oh, nice. Sarah Connor. Connor. That's it. Yes. We're on to Michael. On what long-running primetime series did CIA double agent Sidney Bristow pose as an operative for a worldwide criminal organization called SD8. I'm having trouble reading all, all these numbers and letters here. SD8 was her organization, but here's the thing. It was a really, really popular television series starring a kick-ass woman. What was the name of the series? Holy smoke. Uh, and it was, it was, she worked for oh, that's Batman. <laughs> She worked for uh, SD6. SD6, CIA, what's in your wallet? That's all I'm telling you. Um, uh, oh, did uh, you? I, the alien? wife of... Uh, alias! Alias. A alias, that's good. Woo! That's yeah. good. That's awesome. That was, what's in your wallet? I owe you $10,000. Okay, that was, well, I gave Geraldo a pretty good clue, too. Money? Is there money? This is, a, this is a super clue round, okay? <laughs> okay. I gave Geraldo Sarah Palin. I gave you what's in your wallet. Now, Lisa, you get a good hint, too. Okay? Sarah Palin? Sarah Connor? <laughs> yeah. So, Lisa, okay. who are Kelly Garrett, Sabrina Duncan, and uh. Gil Monroe? Okay. Oh, um, no. They work for a man. He took them away from all that. Uh, <laughs> he worked. They work for a man. Uh, and Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. There good one. Not bad. That was a good <laughs> round, guys. I love it. I love a good hint. 
Uh, yeah, well, that, that really helped me out. Also, Michael doing this in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Michael's doing the, the silhouettes. He, he, came through, he came through with the charades in this round. Yes, right. <laughs> you okay, redeemed your markers, yourself. Everyone. Grab your markers. This is write okay. it down round. This is a write it down round. Everyone has a chance to win. Uh... Okay, what do we win? Yeah, right. Well, you kind of win bragging rights, you know? Okay. Very good. If you were here, I'd give you a sip of my Knob Creek. Hey. Okay. And speaking of what do you get when you win, maybe you get to ask a question on a future happy hour. Oh, Let's go to a uh, former champion. Oh. Everybody knows her. She has truly, she always has the first thoughts and the final thoughts. Let's welcome Tommy Laren to ask the question. What's up, guys? It's Tommy, your returning champ here for your next question. And I don't know, if you watch, uh, if you watch a lot of TV, this might not be too hard. Let's go. On Stranger Things, Jane Ives uses her telekinetic powers to protect Will in the game from monsters like the Mind Flayer and the Demogorgon for most of the series. Now, Jane Ives is better known as what? What is her other name? Good luck, guys. Have fun. Write it down. And um, my hint is, it's not going to take long to write down the answer to this question. She's the star of Stranger Things. And uh, really, it's just a great character. How great is that whole show? Yeah. Good show. Like, it's a good show. The last series when they were in the mall in the 80s, I was blown away. Whoever did the set decoration for that, whoever did props for that, should get 17 Oscars. It yeah, looks it amazing. It looks great. It's got a lot so of... So Michael's, Michael's getting this right, it seems. <laughs> Michael's going to get it right. I think you're all going to get this one right. Yeah, what, Lisa, do you know this one? Oh, I don't know it. Oh, hold him up, guys. Hold him up high. What's the name of the character? Good, 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 good. <laughs> eleven. eleven. Good eleven. <laughs> Eleven's Mike, good. You got it right. I didn't see. What did you write? Did you draw a little picture of a heart, Geraldo? A Q. A Q. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Mine says, "Don't watch with a sad face," because I don't watch that show. So I, I bet there that. are a lot of Q fans, Geraldo, who like. Uh, who, who like Stranger Things as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just but, from Geraldo holding up the letter Q, there's a whole new thread on Reddit right now. It is. Apparently, apparently that's really... all the rage. I don't know. Geraldo, it's going to make headlines. It it's going to make headlines. <laughs> Everybody's like, did you see it? Geraldo held it up. It's when, when, real. When I, when I burp, it's on media. I <laughs> All right, that was a good just, one, Michael. If you're going to, just mute things, and you'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for our, our, act, our final act it out here. Uh, Geraldo, it's time to act it out. Do you have your word or phrase? <clears throat> oh, uh, yes. Okay. Get ready to play charades with Geraldo. Put the timer on the board, and you guys can guess as well as me. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready. Oh, wow. Spider? That's... Spider? Rain. Hair. Rain. Hair. Bang. Spangs. Rain. 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 Rain Wilson. Rain hat. Rain umbrella. Umbrella. Umbrella? Rain, um, uh, the Umbrella Academy. <laughs> Whoa, seriously? What the heck is the Umbrella Academy? It's a hit show on Netflix, buddy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even, I had no idea. Me either. The Umbrella Facebook. Academy. Good job, Geraldo. Well, Put thanks. this up again. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, again. Points. Just keep it up the whole show for me. <laughs> <laughs> one point to Geraldo okay. and one point to Michael for that one, okay? That was fantastic, Geraldo. Oh, I, I, well, that, that, wait, great. Tom, <laughs> Tom can, I give a, can, I get a, can I get a point since you're giving them out to everyone? Well, I mean, uh, you got a point. You got a double point. That's true. So you got your, your uh, sympathy point when you did a horrible charade and Geraldo <laughs> guessed it anyway. <laughs> so I go, think guys. mine was pretty good. This is the final round. It's rapid fire. Magical music and tremendously talented TV duos. So I'm going to be going around the horn, guys, uh, or around the horn this way, I guess, that way. Start with Geraldo, go up to Michael, go over to Lisa, and I will give you the first half of a duo. 
and uh, you will have to give me the second half of that duo, okay? Good. Here we go. We're going rapid fire. Geraldo, Paul Simon, and... Gar Garfunkel. Art Garfunkel, that's right. This is how we play it. I'm going to have my, uh, my thing ready here. Art Garfunkel is right. Okay, Michael. Yes. Jesse Pinkman and... Jesse Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman? Jesse Pinkman. Lisa, hold up the thing that says don't watch. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman I was, and I was keeping Walter it by White. for my round. Oh. Walter White. It's Jesse I, and Walter. You okay, over to Lisa. Never, Lisa. I've never seen that show. Andre 3000, Lisa. Andre 3000 and who? Oh, uh, it's a band, hey, right? Hey, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, uh, hey, big boy. Hey, yeah. What big boy. It? Big boy, you got it. Yeah. Hey, good one. That's a good one. Geraldo, Cliff yes. Craven and who? Cliff and who was at the bar with Cliff? Uh, Cliff, uh, I don't know. I Doesn't don't know. know, it's, put it up there. Norm, Cliff and Norm. Oh, the uh, cheers. Uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta go uh, where everybody knows your name. Okay, Michael, to you. Sounds like a lovely place. <laughs> Officer Mike Biggs and? I got nothing. Mike Biggs and Molly Flynn. Molly Flynn. What would that be from? That's from, I knew it in rehearsal. Ah, you, you don't <laughs> know. You rehearsed? I don't even know what the heck it is. You I don't did. know. You <laughs> we went through all of these. It's probably, it's probably NYPD Blue or something. Okay, Lisa. Well, it does say officer, so that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it's from Mike and Molly. Mike and oh, Molly. Oh, not even close. That's my friend Billy Gardell too. I, now I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a phone oh. call. There. Oh, I don't know that one. That's right. Okay, here we go. Tisk tisk. Lisa. Yeah. Daryl Hall and. Oh, uh, Oates. Hall and Oates. Oates. Hall and Oates is yeah. right. Geraldo. Yes. Ren. I'm still looking at Mike and Molly. I know, it's okay. This is the rapid fire round. I'm going so fast, my producer can't yeah. keep up with me. <laughs> Ren and boom. Who is it, Geraldo? Oh, I know. Oh, Princess Leia's daughter. Stimpy, Stimpy, <laughs> right? I know, Ren and... Uh, oh, you're thinking of Ray, Geraldo, Ray. Ray, it's Ray. A, it's a cartoon. Ren and, Ren, uh, and... Ren, Ren and Stimpy, yeah, that's Yeah, Ren yeah, and right. Stimpy. Give Geraldo a point for that. Yeah. Okay, I Lisa that. Yeah, I said that. Give Lisa the point, yeah. Michael. Laverne. We can share. We both get a half point. Laverne okay. DeFazio and? Shirley. Shirley. Yeah. Pepsi Incorporated. Jolie Feeney. Okay, Lisa. Yeah. This is? A spilled drink. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is whiskey on the keyboard. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Kix Brooks and who? Kix Brooks. I'll take the last name if you if you got it. What is this? What is Brooks is this and Dunn? Brooks and, Brooks and, Brooks and Dunn. Dunn. It's not Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn. That's right. I'll take it. Brooks and Dunn. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm. I've lost my my props. <laughs> Tom. Tom's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is for Geraldo, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and who? Ooh. Uh, DJ. DJ Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff and the. And then uh, I, I forget. It. Uh, 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 I know the music, but I. I, I, I chicka bum. DJ Jazzy. That wasn't even. I don't even think DJ Jazzy Jeff is involved in that song, but. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They, they, they did. He was doing hip hop. There was. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince that's of Bel-Air. Right. Right. He lives in Bel-Air. Bel that's the answer. Let's go that's to... That's not me. That's not me. I didn't get it. Oh, I know. Sorry. He didn't get it. Let's go you to... You just said... Yeah. Uh, Michael. Andrew Ridgely and who? Andrew Ridgely. Oh, and um, Senior Smooth. What? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Andrew, I just want to put a name out there. Michael, oh, weren't you around in the 80s at all? I, uh, give me some clues. A jitterbug. Oh my gosh. 
Was that the other half of Wham? Yes, put it up there. Oh, that's George great, Michael. George Michael. Wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lisa. Great. Lisa. Barney Fife and who? Barney Fife. Deputy Barney Fife and who was the sheriff? From what? I don't know. I mean, I gave you Deputy Barney Fife in the town of Mayberry. Who was the sheriff? If you don't, if you didn't watch this show, you have to leave America. I know. Oh, that's it, so mean. It, I'm it's so largely mean. regarded as the greatest. I'm stuck in my lease until March. Of all time. <laughs> it, it's Andy too expensive. Taylor. <laughs> Andy Taylor, Sheriff Andy Taylor. I don't even Taylor. know what that is. What is that? It's yeah, the, the most famous show. show of all time. I Andy Taylor and it's on I don't. Okay, here oh, we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Read the Constitution, Geraldo. Nice. Apparently, I have to leave the country now. So. Mulder and who? I need to Mulder go pack. And Mulder and who? Fox. Fox Mulder and. Mulder and. Uh, I don't know. These are getting uh, harder. They're getting harder. They I know, Michael, harder. you know this one, don't you? I, I, think I, I think I got it. I think I do. I don't what know the it? first name. Put it up there Mulder and Scully. Scully. Mulder and Scully from. X Files. X Files, yes. Ah, X Files. I saw I that. Michael, <laughs> Felix <laughs> Unger, so and. Oh my gosh. Um, it's Felix Unger. It's I think Elisa could steal this one from you. It's the odd couple. Who's the other guy's name? Oscar Felix Goodman. Oscar Goodman, right? Felix and Oscar, wasn't that it? You're yes. Dead. It is. It's Oscar Madison. Madison, yeah. Is that a show or I think produced uh, win lose a draw or something. The the uh, yeah the the odd couple and that's F his initials were F U that was one of the funniest jokes ever on the stage. <laughs> and enough with the notes. I woke up the other day and said we need peanut butter. F U. <laughs> it took me a week to figure out I meant Felix Unger. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Hyman, ladies and gentlemen. Lisa. Yeah. Dave Stewart and who? Say it again. Dave Stewart and Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Who am I to disagree? I traveled the world in the seven seas. Yeah, I know this song. Everybody's Everybody looking, looking for something. What's your name? Um Oh, you're gonna the band is the Eurythmic. No, I know Put it this up song. on the board. Put it up I know there. the song. Annie Lennon. Oh, yeah, Annie I would Lennon. never guess oh, that. Yeah. I do know the song, though. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a good one for Geraldo. Emma Peel and, and I'll take the name, Geraldo, of the show or of the other character on the show. Emma Sorry, I'm petting Peel. my dog. She came over. Emma uh, Peel. <laughs> Peel. Peel and Oates. No. <laughs> uh, Peel. It's John Emma Steed. Peel. It, the show is The Avengers. Oh, right. that 1960s era British show. No, I, I know it. I know it. But and Lisa's never getting watched her dog. Okay, Michael, Peggy Olson, and who? Who was Peggy Olson's boss? I'm gonna need a clue. I'd like to phone a friend, Alex. Wait a minute. The clue was boss. Peggy's boss. Oh. Peggy's boss. Peggy's boss. On. On the show, Peggy has Peggy. a boss. Peggy's a nice girl. Peggy's a nice girl. She was a receptionist, then she was a copywriter, then she was a producer. Mad really? Men. It, she was all of these things, Peggy was. She was. Who Put it up on the board. Geraldo knows it. Yeah, not yet not memorable John enough. John Draper. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, that's great. Right. Peggy Olson Is that a duo Draper. though? Does that really count as a duo? Well, they were quite a team. Until they I, weren't. I think Lisa's right. I think I should get a point for not knowing Didn't that. Didn't they divorce? <laughs> <laughs> they well, no, she was never not, married to him. Oh, that was his assistant. Yeah, but I he think they go as a pair. Peggy and Dawn. Peggy and Dawn. They were a TV pair. Okay, on to. They, I don't think they were. I don't know. Hey, this is the lightning know. round. There's no. I would like to get the rest of about it. that one. Keegan, Michael, Key, and who? Key and who? Peel. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you said anyone could answer. I misheard. Wait, whose turn is this? It's yours, Lisa. Oh, is this uh, 
Keegan Michael Key. Keegan Michael Key. What's the name of the show? Can you give me some like some hints? The show is Key and what? Oh, that's that's the. I have no idea. I can't give her a better better hint than Key and what, and the thing that Michael just said. It's Pe Peel. <laughs> Key and Peel. Oh, well, what show is that? I don't even know what show. I, I thought yeah. you were saying that because someone said Peel earlier. No. It was, that was Emma Peel. But Key and Peel, very big what show. What show is that? It's very your producer tried to trick her up with two Comedy Peels. Central show. Uh, so, Geraldo. Yes. Will Truman and Evergreen. Who? Go by the first name. Will and Grace. Will, Will and Grace is right. Oh, nice, Geraldo. Good job. Will and Grace is uh, right. Okay, Michael. Big Kenny and who? Um, uh, Big Head Smoothie. What? Uh, <laughs> you got to get this one on Fox Nation. Uh, oh, Big and Rich. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, Big and Rich. Big and Rich is right. Lisa <laughs> gave it to you. But you know how to take a hint. You, you gave Lisa the answer and she just whipped it. <laughs> Lisa. Why? Oh, because I, I, yeah. This one's for you, Lisa. And the thing is, I know that Michael... <laughs> And Geraldo are going to know this one, but this is for you. Rhoda Mer Morgenstern and who? Ah. Uh, Rhoda uh, Morgenstern. She was the neighbor. She was the upstairs neighbor of who? Oh. Uh, a person. It wasn't the Golden Girls. It was. Uh... Oh, Geraldo doesn't know it. I thought he would just. <laughs> Does Loftus I... know it? Oh, I know. I, yes, yes. Loftus knows it. She I'm can turn the world on and I'm smile, uh, Lisa. I'm trying to think of her last oh, movie. Um, oh, crap. On the show. No, I know. Uh, she throws the hat up, right? Yeah. Throws she the hat up. Uh, oh, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, yes. Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah. She just, she just had to leave Minneapolis due to the riots. <laughs> <laughs> That's Finally. She leaving New York. <laughs> Imagine Ted... Reporting on the riots. <laughs> That's a good sketch, oh, right? Lou, Lou, they're upset. Black <laughs> Lives Matter, Lou. <laughs> okay, guys, here we Senator go. Never had in the air. It's bullets. <laughs> yeah. We came to the. Uh, I'm going to check my phone because I want to see what the. I want to see what the current score is. And uh, I don't see it. Well, wh while we're waiting <laughs> for our judges, to. Come up with how many answer. judges? I feel like this was this was a lot hard, a lot harder than the last time I was on the show. It was not only a lot harder than a normal quiz show; it was harder than a normal happy hour. There were a lot of very <laughs> fewer references in this show, and so the judges are gonna they're gonna type in my uh, my winner as soon as they tabulate them. But who and do you guys think? Definitely... I want to take a poll. Who do you think ended up in the lead? Oh, Michael. Yeah, Maybe definitely Michael. Michael. Well, it's I picked a misleading middle name for the show. However, Michael really, uh, he started out really I, hot. I didn't finish strong. I didn't he did finish not finish strong. strong, but Geraldo was getting a lot Well, by the end. Yeah. Geraldo picked up the pace. I, I loosened up. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, I stay down here. <laughs> a very, a very even performance from me. <laughs> Are you in DC go, or New York, Lisa? New York. Wow. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. There's really. plenty of apartments available. I know. Do you love? I'm locked in a lease till March. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Lisa came in with six. Geraldo <laughs> came in with seven. Oh, oh, dude. And Michael Loftus with eleven. This wow. one goes to wow. Michael. Wins. What? It was a fair fight. It was. Yeah. It was a Good fair job. fight. And uh, you all had, obviously, you had your strengths. And <laughs> most of all, we had a good time. Did we not? We did. You're an excellent host. Thank you. I will, I will deny that I uh, became inebriated during the course of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of cocktail left in my class. It's the big ice cube. It's the big <laughs> yeah. ice cube. It is. That's just the melted oh, stuff. It just pushes the with It's the melted out. backwash. It's, it's the backwash, right? Yeah, it's the melted. It's the <laughs> big ice cube. It's big ice cube. Guys, I triple dog dare you to drink the rest, Tom. Right we now. Do, well, this is where it's going. I, I usually make another cocktail after the show is over, and because it's a whole lot of work we put into this, but they're they're a lot of fun. It's kind of playtime at yeah, home. Yeah, it's very fun. It is yeah. a lot of fun. 
Thank you guys for joining us. And Thank you, Tom. Thanks for having me. Hi, time. Lisa. Bye. Bye, Michael. Bye, Bye guys. Everybody. Great to see everyone. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks to everyone out there in for joining us. Okay. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you I'm again. going to come down to Hilarities. I'm going to get you on stage. Oh, right. right. That'd be great if you go to Hilarities. Just let me know you're going to be there. All right. I will. I will.